Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see all about different Apache Spark deployment modes. Before we get into the different deployment modes, let's see the architecture of Apache Spark. Spark is well known for its speed and efficiency. Spark consists of a driver node which runs in the master node and many executors which runs on different worker nodes. There can be more than one executor in a worker node. For example, this worker node has one executor and this worker node has three executors. When you submit a Spark application using a Spark submit command, Spark submit utility interact with the resource manager and create a container in one of the node called application master. The driver program runs in the application master and it creates the Spark context. The driver program is responsible for executing the Spark application. Once the resource manager identifies the resources, it sends the list to the application master. The application master gains access to these resources by sending a list to the individual node manager. The application master asks the node manager to create executor container in each worker node. The executors directly communicate with the driver and the driver keeps track of all the status of the executors. When the task is completed, the Spark context is closed and the driver exits. This causes the application master to terminate and thus releases the resources back to the cluster. Now let's see some of the definitions of Spark architecture. Spark is a distributed computing system designed for big data processing and follows master-slave architecture. Resource manager or cluster manager is responsible for allocating resources to Spark application running on a cluster. Spark supports multiple resource managers like Mesos, Yarn and comes with its own resource manager. Application master is a program responsible for managing specific Spark application running on a cluster. Containers are virtual machine that runs on the node in the cluster and is assigned with certain number of resources to execute the task. Executors are process that runs on the worker node in the cluster and is responsible for executing the task. Now let's see the different deployment modes in Apache Spark. Spark runs on several modes ranging from single machine to large scale cluster of machines. Spark offers three primary deployment modes, client mode, cluster mode and local mode. We will see in detail on all the deployment modes in the upcoming slides. First let's see the client mode. In the client mode, Spark driver runs within the client machine from which you submit the Spark application. And the client communicates directly with the cluster manager to request resources and to execute the task. Now let's see some of the key characteristics of client mode. In the client mode, the driver runs within the client machine. So the client machine requests access to the Spark cluster configuration. Client mode is well suitable for development environment. The client mode is easy to monitor and debug application since the driver runs on the local machine. But the con is if the client machine fails, the application fails. So the client mode is not suitable for long running jobs. Now let's see the practicals of how to configure the client mode. If you would like to use the client mode while configuring the Spark session in the config function, we have to mention the mode as client. Now let's see the next deployment mode which is cluster mode. In the cluster mode, Spark driver runs on one of the cluster nodes rather than the client machine. So when the client submits the Spark application to the resource manager, the resource manager launches the driver 
in one of the worker nodes some of the key characteristics of cluster mode are the driver runs on one of the cluster's worker nodes so the client machine does not need to maintain an active connection to the cluster during application execution cluster mode is well suitable for production environment large data sets which has high availability cluster mode is highly scalable because the driver runs on the cluster and it is fault tolerant the only con is that cluster mode is slightly more complex in setup so the debugging can be more challenging in order to use the cluster mode when initiating the spark session in the config function we have to use the mode as cluster now let's see the next deployment mode which is the local mode in the local mode spark runs on a single machine using all the cores of the machine local mode is the simplest mode of deployment and it is mostly used for the testing and debugging some of the key characteristics of the local mode are in the local mode we don't have to worry about complex cluster setup or configuration local mode is a good choice for user who needs to test small scale of data processing workflows local mode is ideal for development testing and small data set local mode is a simple setup runs on a single machine and it is easy to debug the con for local mode is that it has limited scalability and it is not suitable for large data set and production environment in order to use the local deployment mode in the spark session in the master function we have to use the keyword as local i hope you got a fair idea of all the deployment modes and i am sure that this video was very useful if you do like this video please consider to subscribe and i will see you in yet another interesting spark concept video thank you